Sup everyone, Casual Talk here. Today I'm going to be talking about ghosting. Ghosting has been a very common thing that I I known of. Just growing up into the hyper technology era. Okay? Since the early 2010s, 2015, 2020. The start of technology. It's become a common thing for people to just go ghost and leave you on red, leave you with no response. They they feel like they don't have to say anything to you. And they could just leave you there. And it makes you look bad if you're the last to respond and you keep sending text after text after text after text, just like this image here. I just don't bother wasting my time anymore with people who wants to ghost and not complete unfulfilled promises. You can't get mad when the next person you try to get in contact does not want to get in contact with you because you had a history of ghosting other people. So many people today are so oblivious to acknowledging other people's time. They just spit on it like it's nothing, but then they want people to respect their time. We're living in a very, very self-centered, self-absorbed, selfish society. And it's happening all around the world. Wherever technology, social media is booming and becoming popular. Dating matches in today's generation, today's time, has trained and taught a lot of women and men who has a lot of likes, matches, and clicks to train them that you have expandable options and anyone is replaceable at your fingertips. So you have no reason to respond to everyone appropriately. You have no need to acknowledge everyone appropriately. You have no need to close the conversation. You just leave it there. You just leave it there. People don't don't understand how rude this is. And it's a very, very scary thing that this is a very common behavior in 2023. And I believe it's only going to get worse. I believe it's only going to get worse. I've used to get pissed off all the time, frustrated, especially during my youth, my early days when I was talking to many people. And of course, after my experience, I had both dudes and girls ghosted. People who I wanted to genuinely hang out with, get to know, hang out as friends, colleagues. Many times they would go ghost. And This is why I started to slowly become numb, change my view about society. And it's nothing personal against everybody else, but it's a bad habit to keep. It's a bad habit to hold on to and to become accustomed to always doing to every single individual that you meet and you talk to. There will be people that will send texts like, oh, I'll give you a call later. Oh, I'll promise you I'll get in touch with you by tonight. The promises is never sincere. It's never promised. Don't say that you're going to commit to a promise that you're not going to keep. Don't say that you're going to get in touch with somebody or get back in touch with someone if you're not going to do it. Just say, hey, I got a lot going on. I can't promise you that I'm going to give you a call or a text. Just say, hey... Um, I don't see this relationship or this friendship is going to go anywhere. So I don't want you to think that I'm leading you on and out of genuine respect. I don't want you to think that I'm all these other people out here that's just ghosting people at random. People don't even want to go out of their way to do that. They expect you to just figure everything out. 
Nobody has the time for that. Who has the time to stress themselves to wait for a person's text or to finally respond back to a question or anything that's important? This is the reason why I even noticed there's people in real life who feels that they don't need to put that much energy into friendships or relationships either. They're like, eh, I don't care. I could always go on my phone, my cell phone. Social media is my friend. I have all these people, all these likes, all these commenters, people praising me. But a lot of people that are in this situation, why do you think they're not happy? It's also people who encourages this and who enables this. They are also at fault as well. But from what I'm seeing, this is never going to change. This, this is never going to change, and it's sad. Ghosting today has become part of our culture in America. And if you even call out somebody like, hey, I don't appreciate that, you know, you're telling me that you're going to do this thing, you're going to get in contact with me, you're going to call me, right? And then you just go red. I, I don't appreciate you leaving me like that. And it's been a few days, and you said that you was going to get back to me on this day, and you never did. What's up with that? You just be sincere and straight up that you don't want to talk to me anymore. You don't have the time to talk. Just be straight up. You got a lot going on. If so many people would call out people who ghosted them, I guarantee you would see a lot less people doing it. The reason why so many people does this is because they feel that there's no need to get in contact with you and your time has no value to them. So you know how I deal with people like this? One word answers or no respond back at all. I leave them on red next. Now I let them have the last word. I let them know that I'm done with them. I don't waste my time no more arguing with people. Oh, why isn't she? Why, why isn't he responding back? What's going on? Did I say anything to offend him? Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm done. Why do you have to walk on eggshells with people, strangers, colleagues, because you're afraid to offend them about something? I don't give two hoots on what people think about me. Why should I? Be, I'm sure you could be certain on, okay, let me watch what I say. Of course, I'm not, but I'm not talking about that. What I'm trying to say is that let it be clear and known the things that you like and the things that you don't like, the things that you tolerate and the things that you don't tolerate. There's no communication. There's lack of communication. This is what's the problem today. This is another problem in society today. It's not just America. It's not just America. It's not. From my experience, other people from different backgrounds and races that I spoke to, they also ghosted me. The only times I've ghosted people was for obvious reasons. I did not like the person's character or personality, and I didn't want to have the time to argue with them. That's another reason why many people will go ghost. But I'm talking about for immature, petty reasons. You feel that there's no need for you to respond. There's no need for you to say anything. Then, hey. Don't get mad when other people does the same thing back to you. You genuinely want to hang out with the person, uh, hang out, be friends, and then they just go ghost. You're kissing their behind, sending three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten texts, hoping that they're going to respond again. I'm 30 years old. Who has the time for that? If you you think you got the time for that, that's more power to you. I'm not going to stress myself out. I am not. And the reason why I have this tone is because I could understand how annoying ghosting must be. Especially when people are dating. Especially when you're trying to get to know somebody. Especially when you're just trying to make friends with someone or get in touch 
or even build a network for work. I dislike ghosting to the core. I've had cases where I was trying to network with some dudes, people that I barely knew, just to build a network, they went ghost. I do not have the time for that crap no more. We are getting older. That is childish. Children do stuff like that. Unless there was an actual reason why I made a mistake, why do why don't you correct me? Yes, I understand it's not anyone's responsibility to raise another grown man or a grown woman, but you should also have the time to check people and put people in their place if they said anything wrong that offended you or you think they might have said something wrong. Many people don't even do that. Many people does not know how to read the room. They don't know how to be genuine, show respect, consideration to the other person. Then they want the same thing back in return. It does not work that way. You can't get mad when somebody ghosts you back. You can't get mad when someone acts like you don't exist. That, oh, I don't have to respond back to this person. I don't have to call you. Something had to happen to them. If if they passed away, God forbid, that's different. But I'm talking about situations where, hey, uh, what are you going to do tonight? Oh, um, are you going to get back to doing this work? Hey, I promise to call you back and give you a call about this meeting whenever I get the chance. No respond. No nothing. No call. No answer. Nothing. No more. This is one of the other reasons why I don't have the time to keep up with friendships with anyone in today's time, in this year of 2023 and going forward. I don't have the time for it no more. I'm getting older. I'm in college. I got kids, a wife. I got more important priorities and responsibilities than waiting on someone and getting anxious, annoyed, taking away from my time, getting pissed off because somebody did not respond back to my text or kept a promise with calling me or anything like that. It is just annoying. For any of you who are going through this, leave the person alone. That is my best advice. Because trust me, the craziest thing that happened to me from when I, I left people alone and left them on red especially for actual reasons where I expected them to actually be like, oh, I noticed why you, I, I know the reason why you uh, you ghosted me and you wanted to back off. I said this wrong. I'm sorry. Or I could check them as well. I could be like, hey, the reason why I stopped talking to you is because you said such and such. And I, I felt like that was wrong. But you know what people will do? They'll just leave you be. They'll leave you alone. Leave you on red. Go ghost. No, nothing. Nothing. It's so sad how this became part of the American culture. It is so sad that this is what people is willing to deal with. Especially if you're an overly nice, genuine individual. A person with a kind heart. Then people wonder why people changes over time and changes their perspective on dating relationships and friendships in general and just having acquaintances or keeping tight relationships with individuals, with people, forming connections, building networks. This is this is this is why it's so difficult today. This is one of the main reasons why. This is another reason why, truth be told, there's people who even even, um, commit suicide. There are people 
who thinks about deleting themselves because they feel they have no one. I'm going deep with this topic because this is all this is all part of ghosting. I feel for people that doesn't have nobody and their only friend ghosts them. Their only mom, dad, close relative, anybody. Don't hold on to promises that you can't keep. Why don't you be a, a, be a bigger man and be a bigger woman? Put your big girl panties on. And be honest and straight up on why you want to cut contact with the person and not leave them on red. Because you would know how it, how it feels if someone did the same thing back to you, depending on the situation. Lack of accountability, lack of communication, lack of consideration, all leads down to ghosting. No word, no response. The person is just letting, uh, just standing there wondering why. Wondering what's going on. Wondering if you're dead. Wondering if you're alive. It even makes it worse and messed up where you see this person on a daily basis. You see them at school. You see them at work. And then they act like they didn't do anything wrong. They pretend as if they never got your text. No, they they just didn't have the time for you or they just didn't want to, they just didn't see you as a priority or they just didn't see you t- as nothing. They just didn't care to respond back and be like, hey, I'm going to be busy tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be busy later. I won't be able to respond back. I'll call you later. Or, hey, I don't see this is going anywhere. I don't want to leave you on red because I understand how it is to get ghosted. I don't even remember one person that actually straight up told me anything like that. Like, hey, hey, bro, um, I don't want to leave you like this, but I don't like how you do such and such or our personalities is not clicking. So I'm going to have to cut contact with you. No hard feelings, nothing personal. I, I wish the best for you. I wish you the best. It may hurt. But at the end of the day, I respect that individual because they were honest. They let me know what was up. They let me know what was going on. That is is, is just childish, man. We're in 2023 and you still have grown behind people out there. I'm pretty sure that I'm still doing this crap right now. No need to respond back to you. No need to talk to you. No need to say anything. Mid-conversation you could be having a good time, laughing, joking around, and out of nowhere to go ghost. Out of nowhere, they just leave you on red. They just leave you there, being still. Looking like a plank. Like you're just talking to a brick wall. I do not have the time for people like this anymore. And this is exactly why I refuse to hold on tight to friendships today. This is why people changes over time. My perspective on friendships changed a long time ago. And this is the one of the reasons why. And I'm pretty sure that's the same thing for any, uh, any of you out there who is watching this video right now. It is not fun to be ghosted. It's not fun to be stressed out. It's not fun to wonder what's going on. And it's definitely not fun to see the same person in your face pretend and act like they never saw your spawn, your text, or they never kept their promise. And they act oblivious and act like, why are you so sensitive? Why are you acting like that? And this is the reason why people change. This is the reason why some people uh, are violent. Commits murder. A lot of these stuff is wrong, but this all leads down to ghosting. Soft words could turn away, uh, away wrath. The Bible has so many amazing references. And I forgot the Bible scripture that quoted something like this, but if I get the chance to find it, I'm going to pin it in the comment sections down below for all of you. Soft words turns away wrath. 
words of wisdom, something that's something to say, just be honest. It could really change everything. It can really change the situation. It can. Ghosting is not fun. I don't recommend doing it to anyone. And I don't like doing it to anyone either. I'd rather just be straight up and honest with you on why I'm ghosting you, why, why I'm not talking to you. People have to also learn and understand when to also read the room too. Hey, this is part of the American culture today. I'm not going to be a part of it. And the only way to win by be, win from this and don't is to not get yourself frustrated. And when you catch yourself getting frustrated, pull away, cut the person off, delete the conversation, and keep yourself occupied and busy and just leave it alone. After a while, you don't even have the time to check people. It's childish to even play their games. It it truly is. And who has the time for that? If they if they genuinely want to come out of their way, but hey, I noticed um, you know, you haven't been talking to me, and just be straight up. The reason why I, I stopped talking to you is because you stopped talking to me. So I assumed that you had other priorities and you were busy doing a lot of other other things. There was other important there was other more important things other than our conversation. You could have simply let me know that you were busy and that you had to cut everything short. But this is what happens. You insisted. You insisted to let me know that you're busy, you're occupied, you're doing your own thing, and there's other more important things other than our conversation. Common sense today is truly not common today, guys. Please don't be like majority of these people out here. Because ghosting, like I said, is no fun. If you're in a situation where someone's trying to ghost you or stop talking to you or they're losing interest, whatever the case may be, short word text, leave them alone. There are so many amazing things in life that you could explore, things that you could do to keep your mind off of the uh, the stress, the misery, the, stu- the, 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 the stupidness. The full the follery behind people's actions like this. People would even do this in real life. Be smarter out here, please. Please. Don't be that guy. This is casual talk here. Peace out. Let me know what you think.